Uh, good morning, everyone. This is Tony Butler. I'm one of the life sales directors here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services. And we're going to be talking about Assurity's new short-term disability product that they have. Get a lot of questions about short-term disability, and that is not something that is in the uh, individual market space. So it's nice that Assurity is providing that um, to the agents um, for their clients. Uh, today, I have Travis, uh, Brian, and Jeff McClendon on the line. Um, we're going to go over that. But before we do, a uh, couple of things I want to uh, talk about that we offer here at IMS. And you'll have to forgive me, just getting over COVID, so don't have that much of a voice. So I'm going to kind of blow through these as quick as possible before my voice goes. So with that, let's get started here. So um, a lot of times we talk to advisors, whether they're new or been with us for years, and we discuss additional ways that uh, you can earn additional dollars. And we have a few ways in order to um, earn additional money on top of the commissions that you do make for the business that you write. Um, one of those is our new producers builders. Um, if you are new with us, uh, we do offer uh, additional perks, if you will, for the production that you that you do provide. Um, as you see here, there are different levels. There's five different levels um, that we have available for you. So there's um, additional things such as marketing pieces that you can get, um, postcard mailing. We do have a Ritz-Carlton package that's available. Um, for more detailed information on our new producers builders, uh, please feel free to reach out to us, and any one of our sales directors would be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. Next, we also have our IMS Business Builder, and that's a referral program that we have for our advisors. So if you do refer a new producer and they get appointed with any of the carriers that we currently work with, um, we do provide you with the $50 uh, referral bonus. Any subsequent business that they write, um, we do provide you with additional SPIF on that business as well. Again, if you have uh, specific questions on this, feel free to give us a call, be more than happy to, uh, to discuss this in great detail with you as well. We also offer back office support. Definitely want you to work smarter, not harder. So what that entails is paperless contracting. Um, we do help with case design. So what that means for life agents, um, if you're looking at um, writing life cases and you need quotes or case designs on life business, disability, critical illness, uh, we can provide that for you as well as annuities. Um, we also have a 24-7 website, um, which provides a plethora of tools for you, um, whether it be our term and universal life quoter, um, you can access forms online. Um, you can see our long-term care product grid as well as our annuity grid. Um, also, uh, speaking of COVID from earlier, uh, a lot of advisors have gone to doing their business uh, strictly via e-app. Um, we do offer electronic applications through our website. Uh, the majority of the life carriers that we work with uh, go through iGo eApp Solutions, and you can access through the IMS website. Um, we also have another platform, which is Firelight. Firelight, as you see, uh, there are some life carriers that uh, utilizes uh, the Firelight platform. Uh, the majority of the carriers uh, that utilize Firelight are annuity carriers, and as you see, a list of carriers here. If you haven't registered for Firelight, you can do that uh, through the IMS website. Um, we can show you how to do that if you have questions, as well as if you haven't had the opportunity to register on our website. We can help you with that as well. We also want to provide uh, creative marketing solutions for you. So whether that be turnkey, agency, or digital solutions, um, we do offer assistance in that arena. Um, what that means is if you need assistance, whether it be uh, newsletters, brochures, uh, you want to get involved in the digital marketing arena, uh, we can help with that. Um, if this is something that does interest you, I do recommend that you reach out. Um, we can do a marketing analysis. Um, it takes about 20, 30 minutes. Just have a conversation with you in regards to your business, um, how it's currently running, um, what are your goals uh, going forward. Um, we can provide, with you, provide you with some details um, 
after we get that over to our creative team, uh, provide some solutions for you to help grow your business. So definitely, um, if you see this as being a plus for you and your business, uh, give us a call. I'll be more than happy to sit down with you and go through that. We also offer the Retirement Analyzer. Um, which gives you the ability to answer questions from your clients, such as um, when can I retire safely without running out of money? How would it affect my family if I were to go into a nursing facility or if I were to die prematurely? Uh, we do offer this uh, free for qualifying agents, meaning uh, the production that is provided. Um, otherwise, there is a charge for that. Um, if you want additional information on a retirement analyzer, again, feel free to give us a call. Be more than happy to uh, provide additional information for you. We also have our IMS Wealth Management Team. Um, IMS Wealth Management Team is there for you and your higher net worth clients. Um, they've done an outstanding job of helping advisors increase their revenue, improve client retention, as well as strengthen the relationship um, with your clients. Um, Charles Jr. and their team do a great job of um, assisting you with that um, in that area. So if you have questions, feel free to give us a call. Um, we can get you over to uh, someone on a wealth management team. We also offer the Life and Annuity Academy. Um, we do have one coming up here in September. Um, it is a two-day training. I um, mean, it's something that we here at IMS pay for. Um, it is something that we partner with some of our top carriers, and we talk about uh, things such as uh, large life case marketing, um, best industry practices, um, sales ideas and strategies. Uh, we have a lot of our top producers come in and speak. Uh, I do believe I do have a polling question for the webinar, excuse me, not webinar, the uh, academy. Uh, I believe the one for September has already closed, but we have another one coming up in October. So if this is something that does interest you, I've got a polling question um, in regards to that. I'm going to put that up here real quick and have you respond to it. And make sure to reach out to you and get some additional information out to you. So I'm going to leave this up for a little bit. So you've got people responding, so we'll uh, keep that open here for just a little while longer. All right. Okay, we'll go ahead and close that out. All right, coming in for landing here. Uh, lastly, we've got our trip that we have, uh, Hotel in Park City. Uh, this is a new a trip. It's the mountain retreat that we have um, that's being sponsored by Athene. Um, as you see here, the trip dates are from 820 of 2023 uh, through 823 of 2023 uh, for qualification uh, details. As you see, the period is from January uh, 1 of this year to, all the way to December 31st of this year. Um, for additional information on qualifications, definitely reach out to us. Um, I believe we have a few people that have already qualified uh, for the trip and several others that are close to qualifying. So with that, I'm going to turn this over to Jeff. Now, before I do, I want to point out, if you have any questions at all, there is a question box um, on your screen that you can submit those questions. And we're going to try and address those questions um, here at the end of the webinar. Uh, so anything that uh, you have questions on or need additional uh, explanation on, feel free to type in those questions and we'll try to address as many as we can uh, before the end of the webinar. So Jeff, are you there? I am. Thank you very much, Tony. All right. I'm going to switch you to the presenter. Awesome. Okay, you and should now be the presenter. Let me make sure that this works here. And then, how's that look on your end, Tony? Looks good. Awesome. Well, good morning, and Tony, thank you very much for the invite. Um, I to share with you a couple things on a personal level about me. So, my name is Jeff McClendon. I'm a senior sales manager here with the Surety. And I'm very blessed to be joined by my awesome internal partner, Travis Bryant. So Travis and I, uh, 
um, your regional sales team here at Assurity. And what we're here to talk about today is a product that is brand new to the industry. It's brand new to Assurity, and you're not going to find anything out there like it on an individual chassis. So pretty darn excited about this. Uh, and Tony, going back to your presentation, I have to commend you. I think IMS is not only a wonderful organization, but I love how many value-added services that you offer your advisors out there in the field. That referral bonus, that's one of the things that you just don't see. So fabulous job there at, uh, at IMS. And anyway, uh, happy to be here with you all today. So what we're going to talk about is income protection. I will remind you that we please utilize the chat feature. Uh, Travis is going to be monitoring that chat and will be responding to your questions uh, as they come in. So why income protection? You know, this is an interesting market for us. A surety a company that was founded back in the 1890s. We have been doing long-term disability uh, since we basically started this company. So one of the things that we're really known for, and we do a fabulous job at it, uh, what we found is that there was a gap in the marketplace, and that gap was on the short-term side. You know, traditionally, the only time that you can uh, obtain short-term disability coverage is through your employer. Uh, and if your employer does not offer short-term coverage, uh, it's kind of tough. Well, Assurity came to market with an individual short-term disability product. Uh, this product is approved in all states besides California and New York. So we've got all the state, the main state approvals out there, um, and it is ready for you all to write. So we're going to kind of jump right into it. We're going to talk about what is income protection. We're going to talk about the who. Who is that target market? What customers should I be thinking of? What customers should I be going after with this insurance solution? And then last but not least, we're going to talk about the where. I think you are going to be very pleasantly surprised at how quick and efficient our quote to application tool is, uh, which I will be showing you at the end of today's presentation. So to start off with, uh, as I mentioned, this is an individual short-term disability product, and it does pay out weekly. You know, traditionally, long-term disability pays out on a monthly basis pretty standard across the industry. On a short-term chassis, we decided to have this one pay out weekly, which I think is a tremendous advantage. It is highly customizable, and you're going to hear me say that a number of times through this presentation. One of the things that I love about this company is the ability to truly um, design a solution for your customers with a multitude of writers and options available in our portfolio. Income protection is no different. So very highly customizable, and it's very affordable. So there's an accident uh, and an accident and sickness option with this product. So really two different versions built into one. So for, your, for those customers that may be on a tighter budget, we're going to have a solution for them. It does have that return of premium optional, pretty typical across the board with Assurity. We love return of premium. Uh, we still have return of premium on our term as well if you're in that market. And this is portable. I like to really highlight this. This is an individual product. You're not tied to an employer. Uh, you decide to leave your job and go elsewhere and you lose those benefits. This product goes with you because it is individually underwritten. Some options for today's workers. Uh, the ODOC definition. So with our long-term product, we have our two-year own occupation definition. Um, and in my own words, basically the own op definition states, if you were not able to do all the substantial duties of the job, that job that you were hired for, um, in the surety's eyes, you are disabled. Um, that would generate the benefits that it would be paid out. Our short-term product includes that same own occupation definition. So it is a built-in two-year own disability definition. There is consideration for multiple occupations, and I really like this. I personally have seen this kind of coming out of COVID, um, have friends, acquaintances. I, I see advisors out there in the field that, you know, maybe used to just dabble in insurance, do it on nights and weekends, and now they're going full-time. People that have changed jobs, people that are working from home, 
doing social media and earning income from multiple different places. Previously, it's always been difficult to get uh, disability coverage from those folks, what I like to refer to as gig workers. Um, we actually have a solution with this to where we will consider all sources of income, all sources of legitimate income uh, for these clients in determining how much we can offer. As I mentioned, this product does pay out weekly, so the benefits are paid weekly, and it is a maximum of $1,000 a week. That is for W-2 employees. So self-employed does cap out at 600 a week. 1,000 a week for W-2, 600 for self-employed. In the elimination period, you do uh, see that correctly. There is a zero day elimination period option on this income protection product, and it does go all the way up to 90 days. This is a simplified underwriting product. There is no medical underwriting done. It's all non-medical. So these cases are going to be approved uh, or declined instantly. It's an instant decision product. No medical exams, no income verification, and instant decision. And at the end of, towards the end of today's call, I'll show you that tool that is alive and ready for you all to use right now. The highlights of the product, pretty typical. You know, issue age is going all the way up to age 60. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with the sureties portfolio, you know we typically like to do uh, age nearest on our disability. This product is actually an age last. That renewability, the same as our long-term going out to age 65. And the occupation classes, I get this question quite frequently as well. The occupation classes are pretty typical. Your 4A down to your 1A, and they're going to be exactly the same as our long-term product. So same uh, occupation classes. We already talked about that maximum weekly benefit. And then the benefit periods going all the way from 13 weeks out to two years. So shortest benefit period, 13 weeks. And the maximum is two years. So keep in mind what I said about that own occupation definition. That's built in for the first two claim years of the contract, and I'm pretty darn happy about that. Elimination period, you do have options here in the elimination period, 07014. Um, and keep in mind, there's an accident and there's an accident and sickness version. So when you're reading this, the elimination period would be zero days for accident and then seven days or 14 days for sickness. The accident only, you'll notice the only thing that really changes between the accident only and the accident and sickness. Uh, obviously, there's a premium difference, but those elimination periods do change a little bit. Included benefits. I uh, got to tout on this company a little bit. Uh, when we design products, we design them with the consumers in mind. Um, and when I say that, we design them with consumers in mind and we like to include benefits at no additional cost that are not only relevant with today, but that are beneficial, that can be beneficial for your customers down the road if they need it. Um, and these are the included benefits. So you have your typical disability benefit, but I'm sure the one that you're probably going to want to start asking questions about is that childbirth benefit. And I'm very happy to report that our short-term disability product does offer a childbirth benefit. Let's talk about this because I want to make sure that everyone on the call understands how this works because I think it's a little bit different than what a lot of people uh, would expect. And that is a childbirth benefit is automatically included. Um, it's on females, of course, up to age 50, I believe, is the max issue age for the childbirth benefit. It is built in. Um, if there is the birth of the child, we would need a copy of the birth certificate, and then it is a one-time lump sum payout. It's a maximum of $500 or two times the weekly benefit amount. So a maximum of $500, it's one, uh, one-time lump sum payment. It's not a weekly or a monthly benefit that's going out. But again, that is included in this product. In addition to that, the waiver of premium organ donor benefit and then that social insurance offset all included at no additional cost. Optional riders, and I'm gonna focus on probably two of the most popular ones here. Um, that family care rider, I really like the family care rider. 
Uh, the writer, the way that it works is if you are the insured and your spouse, one of your parents, or one of your children were to become ill and you would need to take FMLA, you would need to go out on leave to take care of them, this family care writer would pay you a weekly benefit to go take care of them. So the family care writer is if you have to take off work to go care for a parent um, or a child or a spouse. The other one that I really like, uh, we're getting a lot of attention with, is the stay-at-home spouse disability writer. And a couple important points about that. So in order to qualify for that stay-at-home spouse, that stay-at-home spouse cannot have any income. No Etsy, nothing, no income at all. Um, and if they were to become disabled, then they can't take care of the home, take care of the children, you know, do those normal duties that a stay-at-home parent does. It would pay out a weekly benefit. So again, a plethora of optional riders to add in that allows you to truly customize the coverage for your clients. Uh, we've talked about these, but that, uh, you know, the focus on the women's market. This is a product, I think, that really resonates with the female market because of that family care and because of that childbirth uh, and that stay-at-home spouse rider. Uh, there's the stay-at-home spouse rider that I chatted about a little bit. And again, just remember, there's no income. That stay-at-home spouse can have no income in order to qualify for the benefit. Let's talk a little bit about gig workers and freelancers. As I mentioned earlier, um, we have been very, very open about wanting to embrace the largest audience that we possibly could. And again, coming out of the pandemic, coming out of COVID, knowing that a lot of people have changed careers, changed jobs, they're not working your typical eight to five or nine to five. Um, and what we're kind of labeling as gig workers these folks can actually qualify for a short-term disability product through a surety, and we will consider all those sources of income. That last bullet point there, I'm gonna clarify, it says little or no employer-sponsored coverage. Uh, let's just go ahead and consider that no employer-sponsored coverage. Basically, if your client has any short-term disability coverage in force, we would not be able to offer. All right, so let's look at a sales idea. And I think this does a really good job of uh, kind of explaining just how uh, very inexpensive and very competitively priced this product is. So we've got a 33-year-old freelancer. He's a web developer making a good income, 85000 a year from multiple sources. Um, you know, typical scenario, he's purchased a home. He's got a little bit in the savings. Uh, he's trying to pay down that student loan debt. And the solution that we would have for him is that accident and sickness coverage based off of his income and because he's self-employed, it would be a maximum of $600 a week for that disability benefit. He opted to stay within his budget for that 30-day elimination and one-year benefit period for $37 a month. So he has that added security of knowing that if something were to happen to him, um, is $600 a week going to make him wealthy? No, but it may help him survive financially until he gets better, gives him money on a weekly basis, uh, not only to support himself, but to take care of his bills. Another idea, this is a young family, and, and Travis and I were talking last week, we're starting to see a pretty nice influx of business coming in with small families, uh, excuse me, not small families, young families. In this example, we've got a 30-year-old and a 27-year-old couple uh, making together about 51,000 of annual income. Uh, they rely on the mom for childcare. So it sounds like mom's a stay-at-home mom. They've got just a little bit saved up in that savings account, but not a whole lot. So because of their very budget conscious, we were able to get them an accident-only coverage. That's $595 a week benefit. They opted for that 14-day elimination period. That $250 a week stay-at-home spouse rider we added in there, and we're still under $25 a month. 
So less than the you know less than the uh, the cost of a cell phone on a monthly basis to have that security of knowing, gosh, if something happens, I at least have a little bit of guaranteed income coming in. So with that, we're going to transition over and talk a little bit about some of the tools that we have. Assurity has a plethora of marketing material that's available for you out there. There's a YouTube video on this product. Um, which I think was very, very well put together right there in the middle. And then, of course, sales ideas. All of this content is available from our website, and you can also access it through uh, our friends over at IMS. So as I mentioned, we were going to wrap up, and I was going to show you a tool that will allow you to quote, to go directly into an e-application, and to get an instant decision on a short-term disability product and I'm going to tell you it's going to take anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes for the entire transaction. So it does allow you to generate and share those customized quotes, apply online, and finalize that coverage within minutes. So brief recap here before I show you our wonderful tool, and that is what is income protection? Keep in mind that we have that two-year own occupation definition built in. And there is no income verification or medical exams. So we are pulling uh, third party data behind the scenes. Uh, and that's what we're using to uh, underwrite this one. It is uh, for those that are very budget conscious, we do have the ability in that accident only to really get uh, the premiums down pretty low to fit any budget. And then how and where do you apply? So Assurity has created what we like to refer to as a quick start link. And if you give me one second there, if you want to jot that quote site down and read the myquote.assurity.com, myquote.assurity.com, I'm going to go ahead and hop on out there. So the site that I'm showing you here is the Assurity Quick Quoter, that website that I just showed on that previous screen. I would recommend that you save this onto your favorites to jot it down. I personally, I have it saved on my cell phone as well. This is a very user-friendly site, uh, and I like to use it when I'm out in the field, when I'm on the road traveling and just need a quick quote. In addition to that, this is how you access, one way that you would access uh, this platform to be able to quote, apply, and get that instant decision. So I'm going to click on Income Protection. Here is our two options, the accident only and the accident and sickness. For today's purposes, we're going to do the accident and sickness. We're going to go down, and today we're going to be in the wonderful state of Nebraska, where Assurity's home office is based out of. We're on a 35-year-old female, no nicotine use. And we're going to assume that she is a professional. I'll take a brief pause here and mention these four different categories here relate to the occupation classes that you're probably accustomed to seeing with disability insurance. So a professional would be a 4A, technical would be 3A, your light labor and labor would be the 2A and 1A. So she is a professional making 100000 a year. And what you'll see pop up here on the screen are going to be a couple options. So based off of what I've told the system so far, it's saying, hey, congratulations, she can qualify for up to $1,000 a week in benefit, which is based off of her annual income. Traditionally, disability income can cover approximately 60% of somebody's income, so she would qualify for the full 1000 a week. And it's given us a couple options here, a 13-week benefit versus a 26-week benefit. Either one, you can go in and customize this quote. So it doesn't matter which one you click on, it's going to take you directly into this screen. From here, I can go in and customize this. Maybe I want to change that elimination period and pay attention to this premium over here. You'll notice that this premium is going to update when I go in here and check that uh, or change that elimination and benefit period. So let's say we're set on a 13-week benefit period, seven-day, seven-day elimination period. 
I want to come down here and I want to add that family care writer because I think that writer is very, very fitting for my customer. From here, I can send this quote out. So I can email this quote out to my client. Now keep in mind, this is a quick quoter. So the output that your customer is going to receive is not going to be an entire full robust illustration like you may be accustomed to. It's going to be more basic. Um, and we like that because anytime that um, you're sending something out to the customer, we, we want to make sure that it's easy for them to read and understand. So the output is a little bit more basic than what you would uh, probably accustomed to, but the functionality works very well. From here, my client says, you know what, let's do this. I'm ready to go. I click on apply now. When I click on apply now, it's gonna take me through a set of pre-qualification questions. I'm gonna repeat something. This is a quote to application to instant decision platform, okay? So depending on what I'm telling the system, is going to determine that outcome. So I am a US citizen, not a government employee. Any government or state employees, anybody that has any short-term disability benefits included in their benefits package would not qualify for this. Not a government employee. I am working full-time. Not currently disabled no bankruptcies, nothing like that. No heart attack strokes, no cancers or melanomas, uh, no COVID, Ebola, Zika. Boom, congratulations. So basically the system now is telling me based off the info that I've given it, it looks like I can qualify, potentially qualify for a short-term DI product. It's gonna take me to the next step here where I'm gonna go in and further define who my client is. So in this example, my client is going to be an employee. They, again, they're not going to be a government employee. They're not working for the railroad. For ease of today, they are an accountant, working 40 hours a week, that employer name, that gross annual income, that 100000 that she was making. Let's say she's been employed for about 12 years. Going back to the comment that I make about, made about gig workers, if they do have multiple sources of income, this is where we would be able to add that. So maybe there's that Etsy store that's generating a little bit of income for the client. This is where we would be able to add that. In this example, um, she would already be maxed out at that $1,000 weekly benefit. So we'll mark no there. No other interest, dividend, or rental income. So the system is confirming everything. It's confirming that she is an accountant, that she is that 4A occupation class. Um, we got that family care writer added, the benefit and elimination periods. So we are ready to roll directly into the e-application. So you'll notice when I click the apply now that second time, it's taking me to the Assurity website, which is AssureLink. Since this is a fully digital process, you do need to make sure that you are registered and have a login for our website, assurelink.assurity.com. And that's how you will access this digital product. From here, myself as the advisor, I would log in with my credentials. It's going to take me directly into the e-application. So very similar platform to what you're accustomed to if you've done e-apps before. Unfortunately, I can't show you today because this system is live and it would go in there and start creating cases for our underwriters if I proceeded. But you go directly into the e-app. The e-app does have reflexive questioning. So depending on how your client would answer the questions or how you would answer them for your clients, I should say, um, through this tool, the system is going to do one of three things. So it's, excuse me, one of two things. It's either going to tell you, congratulations, you are approved, uh, or unfortunately you are declined. If you are approved, we will capture the client's credit or debit card. So the initial premium and ongoing premiums are paid by credit or debit card. 
we do have and we will have very soon uh, functionality to do an EFT through this tool as well. But for today, it is credit or debit card only. At the end of that process, when your customer is approved, they have a bound policy that is bound coverage because we've made an offer. They have given us their credit debit card information. We will electronically deliver this policy to the client, assuming that they've opted in. And that would go out to our website, our consumer facing website, myassurity.com. So a fully digital process from quote to application to issue takes anywhere between five and 15 minutes. This product is approved in all states besides California and New York. And with that, Tony, I'd like to hand it back to you. Do you have any uh, questions, comments? Okay, can you hear me okay? I gotcha. All right, I don't know if you saw this question and you spoke about the difference between W2 and 1099 max weekly benefit. Um, would you be able to handle an individual that receives verifiable income from both sources? Yes. Yeah, they would. I have because they would be self-employed is at least part of it. Um, I would assume underwriting would cap us at that six hundred dollar a week amount. I'm checking on that right now, Jeff, to see if I can get an answer. Um, if I don't get one before the uh, webinar is up, we'll we'll definitely get that over to Tony to to let everyone know. Cool. Thanks, Travis. Okay, and Travis. Or yes. Jeff, did you see the would what ride share workers be qualified as uh, freelancers? Yes, they would. Okay, if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to uh, type those in. I'm going to switch this back over to me here. Do you see my screen? Jeff, do you see my screen? I can see screen. I'm yep. not sure. If you, okay. yep. 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 All right. cool. yep. All right. So while I wait to see if there's any additional questions, I have a few polling questions um, still there. Um, the next one is, uh, would you like more information on what we did discuss today? I'm launching that polling question. Uh, please uh, make sure to respond to that and make sure to get additional information if you're looking for that. Jeff Travis, looks like there's quite a few people that want uh, more information. <laughs> Tony, what, what I will do is I'm going to uh, email you after this uh, call today. I'm going to email you our product guide, um, our underwriting guide. Both of those guides answer the majority of the questions that we get in. So I'll make sure that you have those. I'll email you a copy of that link. Again, it's myquote.assurity.com. Great. Appreciate that. You betcha. All right, next one. If you're not appointed with the surety, we definitely want you to get appointed with the surety. So go ahead and respond to that polling question. In the process for getting set up with this, Tony, is pretty darn easy. Um, we're getting a lot of this where advisors will reach out and say, hey, I need to get contracted. I've got some you know, short-term cases to write. We can turn those contracts around pretty darn quick. All right, great. See quite a few people are still responding, so I'll leave this up for a little bit longer. All right, I'll close that out. And looks like we had another question that popped in. Is coverage available for sawmill employees? That's yeah, that's one that we'll have to check out. That would definitely be if they qualify, it would be a 1A yacht class, I have a feeling, but we'd need to check into that one. All right, and I have one final polling question. 
And that polling question is, um, do you have a client or clients that uh, you see that this would be uh, fit for? I'm launching that. Definitely respond to that, and we'll get back to you ASAP on that. All right. I'll go ahead and close it out. Got uh, a few more minutes for a couple more questions. Looks like we've got another one here. Uh, this one's pretty lengthy. What if someone is a government worker that is 1099, a contractor, that does not receive benefits? Uh, where is it? Uh, in some cases, this can be. Come on. Trying to scroll through this set time, for instance, um, two years before they automatically become a career employee and begin receiving benefits. Other cases, uh, there's never a promise. I guess what they're asking in this particular case, you are working for the government, but you're considered an independent contractor as opposed to a government employee, so you're not receiving benefits. Would the short term um, be something that would be considered in the interim. I think that's possible, Tony, because they wouldn't necessarily be considered a, I don't know if they would follow the definition of government employee if they were a contractor. Right, um, because the main thing is if benefits. Yeah. If there's no current or, you know, hey, after two years or after a year, you're going to uh, get short term benefits. As long as there's no benefits, I would think that we would be able to, to consider uh, to consider that one. But that occupation would be a contractor, not a government employee, in my opinion. Gotcha. Right. Okay. Um, Tony, I did get some information on the uh, sawmill workers. Um, so basically, how it will break down if a foreman um, inspector then we would consider them two-way if they were like a saw filer um, where they're not really working with the machinery then we would consider them 1a um, anything outside of that we would not be able to accept. so if they're working with any type of machinery full-time that would be an uninsurable occupation correct okay. or saw mills, yeah. all right cool well, looks like that was the last question, uh, the one that I read. Um, if you guys do um, end up having questions after the webinar, as you see here, my contact information. I did, Tony. I'm sorry, go ahead. Let me yeah. stop you. Um, so I wanted to add, uh, answer the question for um, if they are W-2 as well as um, self-employed or getting um, commission income, um, which would uh, take precedence or which would they go with for the max benefit? Uh, mm -hmm. What we would be looking at um, in the we would be looking at where the majority of the income is coming from. So if the majority is coming from the W-2, we would consider that W-2 job at for the max. So the max would be a thousand. If most okay. of it's coming from like self-employed or commission side, uh, then it would be um, the max of the 600. Now, if it's okay. split down the middle, um, then they would go to which job is actually uh, more hazardous. Um, and that would gotcha. be the job that would take precedence. All right. So from an income standpoint where you're getting the most income from an OCT class standpoint, the lower OCT class. Correct. Okay. So it is possible that that could be, it could go off the income of what the OCT class is not for and vice versa. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, with that, um, as I was saying earlier, any additional questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Um, as you see here, you can reach out to me. Um, there is my email address. Justin Ford is actually transitioning away from the Life Department, going to the Annuity Department. Um, so you can reach out to Greg Ling or Beth Rickliffs. Um, their email address is here as well. Yeah. Or you can give us a call at 
and for this content as um, well as other content uh, please follow us and like us on Facebook and LinkedIn um, we provide a lot of our content on both platforms um, so this is something that you can go back to and listen again um, to as well as previous webinars that we've done so um, Jeff Travis any uh, final words you know what, Tony, we're very, uh, very thankful that you had us on today. Definitely appreciate uh, everybody's attendance here and great questions. Uh, we'll send the follow-up information over to you, Tony, and uh, we're here to help. So if anything comes up, you want to talk through some scenarios, please reach out. Okay. And I'm going to end this with one last question. What financial info is needed? I'm assuming that's on the previous question. That would just be info on... That'd either be that'd be the 1099. I'm not sure that I followed that one. Maybe maybe we yeah. should follow up after this one, and yeah, I can address we'll that. Follow one. Up yeah, follow so, up on that because I'm not so sure. So we don't that have so our, our products no no income verification, right? So right. All, I mean, all we're gonna need is just you know let us know you know what they have made um, in the past year or two or however long um, you know they've been working in that job. Um, just let us know you know kind of what they're making on a yearly so we can know um, gotcha and, and we're going to go based off that number so we're, we're not we're not pulling any income verification um, we're just going based off of what they're telling us so and then of course there's a cap on the benefit there's a max that you can get on the benefit right and then, you know w2 is max of 600 and um no w2 is max of thousand and then self-employed is a max of 600. okay we do all right well, gentlemen, thank you for your time. All right. Like Good, Tony, just thank about you. gone. So. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Well, thanks thank for letting you. us stay thank today. You. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for joining. You guys have a great week.